India has issued an OTAM warning over the Bay of Bengal for a range of 1,400 kilometers, that could be the test of nearby cruise missile. A C-130J transport aircraft of the Indian Air Force encountered an unserviceability during a routine sortie, and the crew carried out actions as per the stated procedures, and safely landed the aircraft. A Chetak helicopter of the Indian Army made a safe precautionary landing near Jaipur, and the helicopter moved towards its destination after necessary technical assistance. The Ministry of Defence has signed a contract with an Indian manufacturer to upgrade the simulator for the Su-30 aircraft, that will now incorporate all indigenous weapons and capabilities, and will provide enhanced and realistic pilot training. The Indian Navy will formally commission MH-60 helicopters at Kochi into its fleet next week. Carborundum Universal Limited has entered a strategic collaboration with the DRDO, for the supply of fine powders used in ceramic thermal spray coatings for manufacturing and maintenance of aircraft engines and components. The navies of India and Malaysia have started third edition of Joint Naval Exercise, to enhance interoperability between the two navies. While Azerbaijan is considering a significant purchase of 40 JF-17 fighter jets from Pakistan worth $1.5 billion, the Armenian Air Force is exploring options to integrate Astra Mark 1 missiles and Brahmos air-launched variant into its Su-30 fighter jets. However, Armenia operates only four Su-30 and 16 Su-25 aircraft, and it might need to consider acquiring additional lower-cost options to counter Azerbaijan's JF-17 acquisition. If India offers its Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets to Armenia, there are several factors that might complicate this potential deal. That includes long pipeline of Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets to Indian Air Force and slow F-404 engine production constraints faced by General Electric, and this limited engine availability leaves little room for immediate exports. France also has a backlog of 180 Rafale orders, and Armenia would have to wait for four years for Rafale delivery. After signing a memorandum of understanding with Aeronautical Development Agency, the Indian Air Force is gearing up to equip its upcoming Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets with the latest weaponry, that will be spearheaded by Software Development Institute of the Indian Air Force, that includes the 160 km range Astra Mark II and 350 km range Astra Mark III, the Taurus Smart Ammunition Series, Rudrum Series Anti-Radiation Air-to-Surface Missiles, and the Brahmos NG Air-Launched Cruise Missile. Software Development Institute will also be responsible to carry out integration of these weapons on the upcoming Tejas Mark II aircraft. The Indian Air Force chief has confirmed that the medium transport aircraft procurement will phase out both the AN-32 and IL-76 transport aircraft, and the aircraft should have a cargo carrying capacity ranging between 25 and 40 tons. The 26-ton payload capacity Embraer C-390 and 37-ton payload capacity Airbus A400M falls within this range, but the 20-ton payload capacity Lockheed C-130J falls below the desired range. Alongside the payload capacity, the Air Force will also prioritize factors like operational range, fuel efficiency, and overall life cycle costs when making the final selection. Today's top 3 comments.